Introducing the Ticket Flipping Toolbox and Flare, tools designed by ticket brokers for ticket brokers to help you grow your business and save you time. The Toolbox is a Chrome extension that lets you see behind the scenes on major ticket marketplaces so you can always make informed decisions. On various marketplaces, you can click the toolbox to view the remaining tickets for the event. This works for all events and is especially helpful for general admission events. Toggle the switch to save the event to your favorites list, where you can see trends, set alerts, and monitor the ticket sales. We'll look more into this later. You can also click the secondary market tab to see the corresponding event on the secondary market. If the event currently has a presale, you can also click this button to unlock the event presale password, which will automatically load the available passwords. All you have to do is select the password to unlock, and now you have access to the best deals. On various resale marketplaces, you can click the toolbox extension to view more information about the event. We have an active tab that shows how many tickets are currently listed for sale, along with a sold tab that has the sales that have occurred for this event, including the zone, section, row, number of seats, the price per ticket, and the date and time that they were sold. You can also toggle the switch to begin tracking this event under your profile. Our enterprise tier members can also see sales recorded by any other member in our network. Let's take a look at the ticket flipping event dashboard. Flare is designed to give you as a ticket reseller a competitive advantage. Using AI to analyze and score thousands of events within seconds, Flare effortlessly points the way to your next profitable event. Flare is an all-in-one platform for ticket resellers. It allows you to see what events are going on, discover new artists, and dive deep into the data behind any tour or event to understand which tickets will be the most profitable. Flare is broken down into three main categories. First, we have our events tab that allows you to see all the current events on Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and AXS. Here we have an all events tab, events added within the past 24 hours or seven days, pre-sales today and tomorrow, first pre-sales and on sales. Within the pre-sale today tab, we can see when the event was added to Flare, the name of the artist, the date, the venue, the capacity of the venue, the city, state, the pre-sale date, the on sale date, the popularity of the artist, and the Flare score. By clicking this lock icon, we can also view the available presale passwords for this event. You can also click on the popularity number 71 for this particular artist to get more info on who's performing or if there are multiple artists. You can also click the artist to view more information about the artist, such as the amount of followers, the current popularity, the monthly listeners, the top cities for this artist, how he's been trending recently on YouTube, and also all the top cities where this artist is most listened to on YouTube as well, along with all of the artist's current events. So here we can get a lot of information about the artist. The Flare score is calculated by looking at all the different information about the event, such as the venue capacity, the amount of fans around the area of, of the venue, and a lot of other information, such as the amount of listeners on Spotify, YouTube, and the amount of people actively searching for tickets on Google for this event. You can also click this columns tab to add additional information such as the minimum and maximum pricing for the event, which can be very helpful in deciding whether or not you want to target this event. Secondly, we have the artist tab. Here you can select top artists or artists with upcoming events. Under artists with upcoming events, we can see all the top artists categorized with the amount of events they currently have going on. So Bad Bunny currently is one of the most popular artists and he has 11 events still yet to be performed. Here you can see a lot of important information and get an idea about which artists are the most popular around the world and especially within the United States and Canada. Lastly, we have the Toolbox tab. Here we can see all of our secondary market data, the events that we have decided to add to our sold data tracking. Here you can go ahead and see how many tickets have actually sold for this event and you can also toggle to turn these events on or off. You can also quickly click the link to jump over to the event and get more information on the actual sales that have occurred. For example, this event for Rosalia, we can click here and immediately click the extension to view the sales that have occurred. The next tab, tab down is the favorites tab. This is focused on primary marketplaces 
currently for Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Here we can see the latest availability of tickets, which can be very helpful for general admission events, but even normal seated events. So right away, you can filter by various different metrics and go ahead and see which events are completely sold out. Next, you can go ahead and select alerts for the various events by clicking this view button. By clicking view, you can go ahead and select to add either drop or low ticket alerts and also get a daily or weekly count of the amount of sales available. This event is sold out, so it's been at zero for a while. I can go ahead and enter a drop alert for this section by just selecting the number of tickets I want to drop. Go ahead and enter two and then click save. Now you'll be alerted via email and through the Slack channel um, whether or not there has been a drop for the event. Going back to the favorites tab, we can go ahead and look further at the events that are available, such as this Adam Land Lambert event, and go ahead and select more alerts. So we can go ahead and click daily. Here we can see the amount of ticket sales that have occurred and how many tickets are left currently. You can also go ahead and set drop alerts, which means tickets that are added by section. So let's say I only want I'm only interested in the orchestra section. I can go ahead and select all three of those and I only want pairs. I can go ahead and select that. And then I can also select whether or not to include primary resale platinums or ADA tickets. So by default, we ignore these and you can just get platinum normal tickets only and then click save. You can also select unlimited amount of alerts for these events for your favorited events. So a low event and a drop alert is currently what we have available and it can be very helpful to know when more tickets are added or when a section or the entire event is just about to sell out. That concludes our demonstration of the ticket flipping toolbox and the Flare event dashboard. Thank you for watching and we look forward to having you on board.